Welcome back. I'm doing a video reviewing the Riot Mako 10, which I'm sure you could tell from the description. Um, I'm gonna be just going around this lake fishing and kind of along the way, uh, giving you pros and cons about it and just letting you know all the features and how I've liked them and how they've held up over the year of probably 50 plus times out fishing. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of go from there. Okay, so the first thing I do when I get out to a deep enough spot is I take the pedals and put them in, just super easy. You just un unclip them there, take out this scupper, line it up with the hole, and then latch it. Now I will say right off the bat, if you're taller than six foot, like I've already slid the, uh, the chair as far back as I could. And it's still, I mean, I can't get my legs straight for pedaling, which kind of gets uncomfortable after a few hours of pedaling. But the good thing is, I guess you can stand up and stretch your legs a little bit, as long as you're not in really a, a rapid, not fishing some rapids, I guess. Fish on. Not a bad one. Whew. My first fish out here. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> so we're doing it on this side. There we go. It's a nice one. Got some girth to it. Inhaled that bait. Nice fish. I like how it's got all these fish holder holes too. I like to keep my net right here. It's accessible right right away and makes the fish fish landing process go pretty smooth. There was one negative about this seat. I did end up breaking the strap, the strap uh, metal bracket here pretty early on, but I ended up just tying it, just making a little knot to the top of the chair now. And uh, it's been holding ever since. And like I said, that was pretty early on. That was last year sometime. So the other bracket's been holding strong. And now that I've tied it on there, it seems to be super strong too. So why change it? I'm just gonna keep using it. But that's one negative that I found on the seat strap. Fish. Oh, not too bad. Probably the same as that last one, but coming in on my left side again. I don't like that as much. Sweet. Good fish. There we go. Just barely hooked him. Good largemouth. Ooh, that water is cold. As far as fish finders go, and mounts, I can link them in the description, but pretty sure I got both of them from Amazon, both the mounts, and then the Garmin Striker from a local sports store. Um, the Garmin Striker is uh, pretty sweet to have. I mean, it's just a small unit, doesn't take much power to run. I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt, 10 amp battery that's ran through the, the hull into a waterproof case for the battery. And uh, yeah, things, things are the way to go, I think. It's a great unit. It's 
pretty inexpensive, so I mean, if you want, you could probably get a, a nicer unit, get all fancy with it, but I feel like the best place to mount it is right here, so you wouldn't want to go too much bigger with, with the unit. But I guess for some people, bigger is better. <laughs> Whoa. Caught him on the way in. He's going crazy. Jeez, almost that same size. Oh, he spit my minnow. My worm. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna lift him up. A little bit smaller, but still nice. I think they're all nice. It's just nice to see a fish, you know? Another nice thing about this is it has so much track. I think I said that in the first video too, but it's just got tons of track. You can put a, a bunch of accessories on it. I only have the, the mounts for the fish finder, but soon I'm gonna get some camera mounts that hook to them, it's kind of a boom mount. I can link that in the description too, even though I don't have it, but I'll still link it. Um, that was one thing that I was really happy with when looking at other kayaks, they don't have a ton of track on them, a lot of them. You have to buy that separately. So for this to have as many, you know, six spots, six tracks on it, um, I thought that was a, a huge selling point for this one. Actually, a pretty fat bass. It's just goofing around. I think that's going to do it for my quick review of the Riot Mako 10. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope I gave you some insight into this kayak. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Just comment. I'll, uh, I'll try to respond if it's something I can help you out with. Um, the only thing I would have changed about this purchase is I would have bought two of them. One for me, one for my wife. Would have been a good idea, but... Anyway, live and you learn. So, as far as this video goes, that's where it's going to end. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to keep watching me use this, this bad boy. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Have a good night.